right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times loosely in a nutshell. Just so wise. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our referee for Ready. this one. Ready. Well, there can be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby. The city of dreams. Big power shot there. There's another one. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it. Though. Great block there. Oh, big knee. Big land there. Finish, finish. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Went for the inside leg kick. 
Just over three minutes to go round one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yep. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Straight right hand, that'll work. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now it's starting to show. Under two minutes now to go. Good kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Nice counter left there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. All right, another strike to the body. Continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you could tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early. And let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. 45 seconds remain in the round. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Superman punch lands! 10 seconds to go in the round. Oh, Five man. minutes in the books. All right, buddy. Slow it down. Breathe. Relax, okay? Let's refocus this round. I need more accuracy, okay? You put a lot of... All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad Good on fight. him for not really Good. making the adjustment Good. to stop it. All right, let's get to round two. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt in right, front of his corner right. because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Oh, flying knee right on the chin. All right, let's go. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. Look at the turtle in that kick. Both guys appeared to land there. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, good vision defensively. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Oh, 
got him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Connected with a solid strike there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Left hand getting very active. Great punch. Nice high kick lands. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Lands a nice jab there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. In terms of those low leg kicks, a lot of fighters say it's just toughness. It doesn't have to do with genetics necessarily, but you don't want to take too many more of those. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Big right hand there. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Ooh, big shot land. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Continuing to work the body to great effect. That was a big check. Let's go. Let's get that takedown. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and fired up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Huge block there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Oh, flying knee to the dome piece. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, Superman punch. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. I'm trying to kick the leg out. 
Oh, it seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. And he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. If you walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nice hook. Takedown defense is there. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? The kick is there to the body. Just over three minutes to go. Big shot to the body. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. There. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Can't take many of those. You better check. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from doing this kick over and over again. Straight right hand, no good. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets caught with that punch. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strokes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Body kick lands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. Well, that is a shade of magenta on his calf. I'm not sure I've seen before. That bruising's getting out of control. The bruising's getting bad. And it's starting to get to a point where you got to keep an eye on whether or not this guy will be able to finish the fight. Head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Lands a jab. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Oh, nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, take a seat. Listen, great round, man. You really kept the pressure on him. I told you you were going to win this fight with cardio. Let's keep that pace up and let's keep putting that pressure on him. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, 
and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Straight punch lands. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Oh, man. I mean, headshots they are not, but that calf is taking an absolute beating. This is hard to watch. Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. He gets up. The question is for how long? All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now we've got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Great job blocking that shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Just over three minutes to go. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. Oh, nice. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, Superman punch lands. Oh, oh he might be out. Just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Tonight, as he gets the big TKO victory, wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 53 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Bruce the 
Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again.